Right, so this is a little bit of a tag on to a video I've already done, but I'm tagging this bit in because I've realised if I don't say this, someone is going to say, but you didn't say that in the video. Um, so I, I've decided to tag this bit on. So the video you're about to watch is about finding places where you can fly. Okay. Um, I do mention a National Trust. Now, the National Trust has a policy, no drones. However, it does not mean you cannot overfly National Trust land, okay? If you're gonna fly somewhere, you need to check the airspace, and technically, you're meant to have someone's permission to take off from the land you're gonna take off from. Public land, okay, may or may not have a bylaw that prevents you from flying. Not all commons, for example, allow you to fly model aircraft off them, even though it's public land. So you need to do a bit of research. You'll see the kind of research that's done in the following video. So just to recap, you know, you can overfly land, you just get to keep your separational distances. What you fly with will determine what paperwork you need with you, like BMFA, FPV, your A2CFC, depending what you're flying, right, will depend if these sites will work for you. I'm, I'm not going to tick every little box for you. Part of it, you're going to have to use a bit of this yourselves, okay? Use your old noggin a bit. But yes, you can overfly a National Trust land, they just don't allow drones to take off from it, okay? And remember, you've just got to keep your separation of distances, depending on what aircraft you're flying or not, and where you are, airspace, and all that jazz. Okay, right, let's get to the main video then. Right, have a good one, guys. Enjoy. Right, so finding somewhere to fly. Okay, where do you find somewhere to fly? Well, the first things first are Nats Drone Assist app. Okay, there is a Guardian Angel one as well. Check your airspace where you want to fly. That's probably the number one thing. But the problem is with Nats Drone Assist and Guardian Angel is they don't tell you the land where you can take off from, and they shouldn't. Okay, they're only about airspace, and that's it. Okay, so you need Nats Drone Assist to check airspace or the Guardian Angel app, okay? It's just a good thing to do. Now, where can you fly? Now, hopefully by now we understand the rules a little bit. Nothing's really changed in the hobby world. It's still 150 metres from built up areas, um, places used heavily for recreation, and that's not really changed, so 150 metres from it. However, it still means 50 metres separation from people that are not involved in the flight. So that's, that's okay, that's still the same, but it's horizontal separation now. Now, there are a couple of bits that might help reduce distances, and that could be your A2CFC, or you could become a member of the BMFA or FPV UK and check out Article 16, and with a risk assessment, Article 16, may allow you to fly in certain parks. We'll get onto them in a minute, okay? Now, National Trust is very much anti-drone. Sorry, that's that, that's their thing. If they want to be like that, that's it. There's nothing that can change that. So that's that's a given, okay? They say no, they just, that's it. Sorry. However, farmer's land, okay? So you'll see a footpath across the farmer's field. Okay, we could have a footpath and it goes across the farmer's field just here. And you want to take off from the, from the footpath. Remember, the footpath is a right to cross it. You cannot block it. So you cannot block it with a camera and a tripod. You can't stop for a picnic, taking off for a drone flight. You know, I suppose the worst that can happen is the farmer can move you along and you piss off a farmer. Not a good idea. Okay, they have enough shit to deal with. I always say to people that farmer's fields, right? So a farmer's field just here, right? It's, they treat it like their back garden. To them, it's their back garden. To you, it's a field and it's empty. And why can't I go and play in it? Well, it's someone's land. It's like me coming to play in your back garden. You're not going to like it. And I'm just going to piss you off. They don't like it and it's going to piss them off. And it pisses them off because people don't respect the countryside for most of the points. Most of the time, sorry. The problem is, they already put up with enough shit. They have people that come hair coursing. Right? And hair courses don't give a crap about anything. And they threaten farmers and worse. Right? And they tear about over the fields and they destroy crops and cause thousands of pounds worth of damage. In Lincolnshire, it's a big problem. So hair coursing is a problem. Next, 
They have fly tippers who come along and tip shit all along their field entrance, okay? They then have motocross that come across and they go across their fields and cause more damage. They've got the four-wheel drive guys and some of them do the same thing, okay? So farmers, you know, they put up with a lot of crap at times. You just don't see it. But, hang on a minute, you've got a camera and it flies and it records video. Could your drone help in any of these problems? You have to sell the idea of flying from farmers' land is not a bad thing. So I flew um, a lot of commercial crop flying a couple of years ago, and I often, if you hear a motocross bike, I would often text the farmer and go, I can hear motocross, or I've seen motocross on one of your uh, bridleways. Do you know what? The farmer will be there bloody quick. He will, because even bridleways, motorbikes aren't allowed on them. So, you know, if you could offer the farmer being the eye in the sky and going, well, I'll tell you what, if I can fly from this field here, okay, and I ever fly this field and this field, okay, and I stay away from the main farm, do you think that would interest the farmer? You may have to pay a bit of money. You may be free security. You've got to sell it as something that they can, that they see as a benefit, okay, for you being there. You know, go, well, look, I just want to step into the entrance way here. I just want to come into the farm entrance way here, sort of take off and fly around and come back and land. You know, and farmers do have little bits of set aside that you could probably take off from. You know, model flying clubs are always on farmer's land because they pay money. You know, you're going to get knocked back, by the way, a lot of times. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get knocked back on this. But if you find the right farmer, okay, you, you could be in for a nice place to fly from, okay? You know, take your shit home with you, take your rubbish, don't leave it laying around. Don't spook farm animals. Landing season is coming. If you fly over lands and spook them up now, I'll tell you, farmers, you wanna see a pissed farmer? Do that. Honestly, they'll go. So at the minute, landing season's coming up. If you see sheep, my advice is stay away from them, okay? Easy to spook. I won't fly near cows. Um, I won't even go on a public footpath through a field with cows because I don't trust them. They've got cars especially. Cows are fucking horrible. Um, so stay away from them. If you think you can trust them, you're just, you're misguided. Um, and always close games behind you if you're in the countryside. You know, follow the code, take your shit, take your rubbish home with you. Okay, so. That's flying, um, you know, in the countryside. You kind of got to be careful. I'm not going to say don't don't fly off a full book footpath, but just think about it, okay? Think where you take off from. Is it a wise place? Is it got a lot of movement on that footpath? Some footpaths are just a no because they're so busy. You know, if you've got a quiet one, maybe so. Now, is there anywhere else you could possibly fly? Can you fly in parks? Can you fly in London parks? Can you fly, where else could you possibly fly? So I've got a couple of clips coming up in a minute and we'll look at where you can find places to fly that actually you've got permission to go and fly. You don't need to ask anyone. However, and I will repeat this, you may have to be a member of BMFA or FPV UK or hold your A2 CFC to reduce distances in some circumstances, okay? It is one of those things, you don't have to do your A2 CFC. If you're gonna fly in the countryside and stay 150 meters away from everyone, okay? And then 50 meters horizontal separation, I see no problem. You don't have to have an A2 CFC, okay? You don't have to have it, okay? Um, but yeah, we'll look at a few bits now. now um, so, first example is before I delve onto the computer and do a bit of Googling. I live in Lincoln, okay, so we have two commons. Uh, we've got the West Common, okay, and we've got the South Common. Now, the West Common is an interesting one. So, in the 1940s, there was a model flying club set up there. The council has never rescinded permission to fly model aircraft from there, at all, or drones or anything. It does have a weight limit of four kilos, okay. The common is very open, a lot of things, a lot of activities happen to go on on the Lincoln Common. Um, 
it probably sits quite interestingly. It probably might need a risk assessment now under Article 16 to fly there um, for BMFA people. It's actually right on the edge of the city, so it's probably not in a built-up area, but it is um, or can be a heavy recreational area. And they have now put that in as one of the things where you may need a risk assessment. Um, so it's one thing to look at, okay? Or if you've been a FA member, you'd probably fly under their, their Article 16, okay? Um, but yeah, um, Lincoln West Common then. The only niggle with Lincoln West Common is it sits under R313, and therefore down to the surface where it is, is Red Hours airspace. So there is a little bit um, that if you read upon R313, you can fly there, just not between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, okay? Or if there's a no time, the Reds are on at the weekend. It's very rare, the Reds practice at the weekend. The RAF, they don't work weekends. They, okay, they take the day off. They, have, they get two days off, you know. Fly red hours, Monday to Friday. They fly in the morning, they fly in the afternoon. They take the weekends off. <laughs> um, so Scampton's airspace, it does cover a lot of Lincoln. So you've got, just got to be careful, okay? Look at Nat's drone assist, the airspace checks always, okay? Always checking your airspace. Okay, well let's get into it. Let's look at a few other places and it'll give you an idea on how to look up for yourself. This is about helping you check out, could you possibly fly somewhere, okay? Um, basically how to check, you know, bylaws and bits and bobs. But let's have a look at three examples I've got for you all, okay? Right, let's go. Right, so flying in London in a park. Well, I know Richmond Park, for example, has somewhere you can fly drones. So let's have a look. Flying drones, Richmond Park, that's the link we want. And then it tells you the rules and everything that you must go with. Oh, we've got a pop-up, get rid of that. Right, and there's some terms and conditions. They even give a little map with a dot on it in the area you can go and fly. Okay, so we're gonna click on the conditions, download that, quick open. Now it does tell us that we have to stay at 300 feet below the helicopter routes and everything. But inside that area of Richmond Park, you can fly your drone. You can't fly all over Richmond Park, but what there is a part of it, you can take your drone and you can fly. Read the terms and conditions, okay? You should note that you're probably going to need either your BMFA or FPV UK membership and use Article 16, or your A2C of C to be able to fly with reduced distances. Or, of course, you can fly your Mavic Mini there with without anything but i do recommend you have insurance fpv uk or bmfa but you can just see me doing the cursor where i think the main area is there that you can kind of fly okay you are limited you can't fly all over the park okay right well that's richmond park for you read the t's and c's though now also, I do know that Bristol has got a few parks where we can go and fly drones as well. So let's have a look. Okay, so fly drones. I'm going to put Bristol. Bristol parks. Let's have a look. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. And we go to the website. Um, we won't follow the news link. We'll go to the actual council web link. Okay. And we can fly, where can we fly? Where's the thing key? Model aircraft and drones, there we go. Click on that, okay. Uh, we wait for the internet. We wait for the internet, come on. It's either the council server, oh, it's down there. You can fly at several sites. So we've got three, okay. Feel free to pick one. They are saying that you've got to register with the CAA, you'll notice, and everything. The downs, you can fly on the downs, okay. It's a green space, but you're allowed to go and fly at the downs with your drone. Clearly it says so. Um, I'm just trying to simplify the map to see exactly where, but it's not saying exactly where it is. But it does say you can fly on the downs, okay. Although I would recommend, you know, you've got to find a quiet place to do it probably, or they will have a marked area. 
okay um, unless I missed it it's probably in one of the other links please read <laughs> but we've got the other parks so what have we got we've got there's a castle park here and you can quite clearly see the blue square is the area you can go and fly in okay so that's the area feel free to print this off whenever you go out again you're probably going to need your FPV UK or BMFA using article 16 or your A2 C of C okay Dundridge Park I have flown here it's a nice park to go and fly in okay nice there's a nice big area you can fly in it is a bit tight in Dundridge at times there are a lot of people there is even a cricket pitch so probably not on a Sunday if people are out playing cricket but you can fly there okay in that area and then we've got another one he says and then we've got I think it's Hengrove isn't it and here's another park and this is another area you can go and fly in okay again you're probably going to need your FPV UK or BMFA article 16 with a risk assessment and you will need that for all these sites okay but there we go you can fly in some parks right so now we're going to look at the crown estate now we all know that the crown um, gets a bit of stick but the crown estate is quite interesting so crown estate melter detecting and drone flying that's where we're going so we're actually interested in the drone flying part we don't really care much for metal detecting however so what it actually allows is on Crown Estate is the part between low tide and um, high tide, if you like, that bit of land is owned by the Crown in a lot of places. So the Crown Foreshore map, as we're going to it now, is going to show us where we can actually fly our drones because the Crown owns the land. So anything in purple, okay, in this map is somewhere you can fly between low and high tide okay so if it's a tidal river it could go inland quite away as this river here does okay that purple if there's if there's any chance that you can take off between low and high tide you can do it now be careful of low and high tides please because they they can move somewhat quickly now in some cases because these could be recreational areas or beaches you may need to have your BMFA or FPV UK fly under Article 16. Remember to do a quick little risk assessment, okay? And, or if it's not a recreational area, you know, you could literally just go and fly under the open category, okay? Or you could fly with your A2 C of C at a, at, um, a reduced distances. Or, of course, if you're flying your Mavic Mini, your distances don't matter anyway and you've got automatic permission to fly from Crown Estate land. Make sure you do print off okay, a little bit about the Crown Estate and you can fly here. Okay, There are some TNCs and some screenshots you'll be able to do off this website. Okay, but as you can see, all around the country, doesn't matter where you go, and they do go inland, remember that. Okay, So it's worth checking out. Just be careful though, because water is dangerous. Tides are dangerous. Okay. Enjoy.